Now we want to move on and discuss the Philadelphia positive ALL. And I'm going to turn to you, Mark, and can tell us, again, we, we know it's controversial to use the word standard, but what's the current treatment for tyrosine kinase inhibitor in the Philadelphia positive ALLs? Well, I think we do have a, a broadly based uh, standard and the, the development of the tyrosine kinase inhibitors that uh, uh, inhibit and interact with the BCR able uh, uh, protein have, uh, as they did in chronic myeloid leukemia, revolutionized the therapy of Philadelphia chromosome positive ALL. And a number of studies have now shown that these uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, such as amantinib and desatinib, uh, most prominently, can be safely combined with chemotherapy and have resulted in higher response rates and better quality response rates. Uh, many patients are achieving either complete molecular remissions or uh, major molecular uh, remissions. And it's uh, allowed more patients to uh, go to transplant. So we still don't have comparative trials telling us which tyrosine kinase inhibitor may be best, but there's, there's clear evidence that uh, the use of these uh, drugs with chemotherapy has been a major advance. Can I ask you a question? Since children now, I think they don't do transplants, allogeneic transplants, because the added benefit when you use a TKI of chemotherapy is not great. Do you still think in Philadelphia positive in adults we should use transplantation, allogeneic transplantation? My short answer is yes. Yeah, and I agree uh, with that. I think, I think we should, but I think it is somewhat of an open question, and there may be patients that, that we may be able to spare transplant, but this is a, a topic for, for further study, and it's something that we're thinking about in the cooperative group setting. I'd just like to chime in briefly also with regard to the TKIs in pH positive ALL. Um, not only have they revolutionized the, the outcomes in younger patients, but they've created an opportunity to, uh, for more definitive therapy in older patients. And um, although there haven't been any randomized studies, um, several smaller series have looked at the combination of TKIs with modified chemotherapeutic regimens or just uh, steroids alone and found patients achieving high response rates and significantly long disease-free survival rates. So it's a, a very viable option in, in older patients. And in fact, I think we've come to the stage where if you have an older patient who is not a chemotherapy candidate, you're almost glad to see them have the Philadelphia positive uh, subtype because you know you have something to offer them with success, whereas that was not the case in the past. Yes, and they're all alike.